All right, so boom, a lot of people be asking me like about sterile processing. They be asking me about, you know, where to study at and all this stuff, right? So boom, I got two books for y'all. It's two books that you should get. Now, this is one of the books. It's called The Basics of Sterile Processing. Um, just a whole, like this is a lot of the stuff that you need to know is gonna be in this book right here. The Basics of Sterile Processing. So you need to get that book. And there's another book, same thing. Workbook for the Basics of Sterile Processing. It's got a lot of questions in here. Like A, B, C, D questions. This is like pretty much what's on the test. If you're ever thinking about doing a test, this is really a good book for you to have. It's got a lot of questions in here. It's, it's basically, you know, true, to, um, true questions, you know, true or false questions, a lot of multiple choice questions. Um, but you need to learn, like, I'm telling you now, when you go take a sterile processing technician exam, you need to know everything. Like, they got questions up there, like, if you're being a surgical tech, like, it's, it's questions up there that you that don't have nothing to do with sterile processing, but they're going to ask you them questions. Um, like, it's just a lot of different questions. I can give you some examples. Um, like, after manual cleaning of a surgical instrument, it is acceptable to treat the instrument with disinfectant wipes. Like, it's just so many things that you got to learn. Um, you know, prior to cleaning, a flexible endoscopic scope must be what? Like, it's just little stuff like that. Um, the humerus radius and ulna are bones of the what? So, like, it's going to ask you questions about the body, like, stuff that don't have to do nothing with sterile processing. So, this is a great book to have. I don't know if y'all can see that, but workbook for the basic of sterile processing, 6th edition. This is the same thing, uh, just a little bigger. Uh, but, yeah, this is what you guys need to know. So a lot of people ask me about what should I order, what should I do? You need to get you these books right here. Um, it's two different tests you can take. It's a, it's a test called Isham. And it's a test called CSPD, CSPDS, I think that's what it's called. The CSPDS certification is only valid for one year. The ISHM certification is valid for five years. So it just depends on what you want to do. It depends on how long you want your certification for. I would recommend going for the ISHM because it's five years. You don't want to retake this test every single year. So yeah, I hope that helps some of y'all out. Again, these are what you need.